Welcome back to Surviving Mars. We are rich. We just finished up Martian Copyrights, which gave us $2 billion. Lovely. Hey, Art Workshop, uh, a vocation building that allows colonists to experiment with different forms of art. Very cool. Counts towards the workshop milestone and consumes polymers. So that's pretty cool. Um, I would like to maybe go down a little bit more of the Martian born stuff. Martian born, no sanity damage, no disasters, things like that. Boy, eventually we might just be able to just live off Martian born only and only bring in tourists from Earth. I think that'd actually be kind of cool. Um, Spirit of Man 1 is ready to head home. So we're going to send it on its way. And Hope of Man is going to land. And we'll take uh, 30 more rare metals back home with us. As soon as Spirit of Man 2 lands, I think I'm going to go ahead and send it back to uh, Mars with a full load of advanced material. So we're a little short on uh, electronics, polymers. I could use a boost to metals. Although I guess... It's kind of filling this dome up, the mega dome up, pretty smoothly. So we'll accept uh, what it has for the moment. Shoot, we are super full on all this stuff. Nope, oh, that's too far from a working drone commander. No, actually we're not. It's just that no drone, not enough drones are getting back this way. This area is very highly saturated with things to do. So my drones are constantly pretty much at a medium or higher load. Uh, so eventually I should probably put down... You know, I never did make that drone assembler. I probably should have it. Does it hurt the more drones you have or does it, can it only help you? Available prefab zero. Maybe I should just put down uh, an assembler. I never, I don't think I ever even put one down or thought about it. Multiplying the obedient workforce of the colony. Um, probably not a threat to humans. That's awesome. Consumes one electronics. I, I, you know, why not? I guess. Well, maybe we should wait till the mega dome's done. I am kind of going a little bit crazy. Look at all the stuff that we have queued up to build. So a lot of items here. We're going to be sucking up my concrete and my metals. So. Let's send uh, the spare rocket back to back to Mars with a bunch of resources, maybe a little bit of an extra uh, extra bit of metal, as well, until we find another deposit. I'm starting to foresee a bit of a problem coming up. We're a little bit low on concrete. We're actually about to lose one of our deposits here. That's actually going to finish up, and we have one more extractor still running down to the southeast. It's almost completed that extraction, and we have two running on one deposit up here to the northeast. So. I'm wondering perhaps if we shouldn't reach out and nibble on another concrete uh, spot. We, we Now, are you in range here? Ooh, you know what? This is fine right here. We should do this one right now. So you're a little bit separated, so we don't have this. We don't have a dedicated power network. Uh, well, we don't have you tied into the rest of the network, but we do, we do have power here, so we can actually add more power, whatever we need, in order for this concrete extractor to run. So you're going to generate or request uh, five energy to run. So we will throw down another wind turbine here. And we should have the materials in this area, I think, to make this happen. And then we'll put down, um, grab a power connection over to you, and I'll throw down a storage. Whoops. I'll throw down a concrete storage pad. And hopefully our drones will continue to come pick up all the materials, the, the, the shuttles. And, and really, I'm starting to see that the shuttles are... Uh, there's, they're going everywhere. There's a lot for shuttles to do. So I'm, I'm having to increase the amount of shuttles we have. Now, I'm a little bit concerned that I'm probably actually going to be low on fuel soon based on just how much the shuttles are running, how much uh, our actual earthen shuttles are coming out and running as well. So I think I'm going to have to put down another fuel refinery since we haven't put one of those down in quite a while. Hello, where are you at? Uh, oh, you're under here. Sorry. All right, fuel refinery. Uh, we're going to drop another one of these down. It's been a long time since we have done so, but I think it's going to be about that time where we upgrade that a little bit more. Uh, the amount of, of fuel that's going out into the world. And I think you're right next to power, right? I don't need to connect you in. Right. So, um, these use what, again, in terms of... It's going to be five power and one water. That's not too bad. Though that really should be something we can keep up with. Hey, uh, meanwhile, how's our thing that's working on grass? Are you expanding a lot or No. I mean, you seem to be... I almost think that it's growing grass, like, automatically. Like, this is the lichen here. And then grass is spreading naturally from there. So is there a point to actually running... I don't know, should we do something like this? Grass lichen lichen? Or, or lichen grass lichen? They don't require soil quality to grow, but they don't spread on their own. Funding received. But then grass does spread. I don't know, I guess we can just do this. Let's just do both. Why not? And that way, since I don't quite know what either of them does in terms of, you know, which which one's better to have, 
Um, if if one of them is helping more than not, we'll uh, we'll be getting both of those covered, both of our bases covered here. Cool. Uh, we have anomaly analyzed, which is wonderful. I do have a bunch of materials coming over to Mars, so we're gonna have a lot more rare parts again, uh, or advanced materials rather. Our metal extraction still sucks, unfortunately. There's not a whole lot we can do about that. I could probably put you guys. I'm working the night shift. Uh, I could build another standoff dome too, but there's just so much going on right now. I don't think I'm going to have the manpower to do that. You know what, what might not hurt? Is we're scanning what? Here? Let's kill all these scans for just a second and figure out where I'm at. I, let's scan here. Because that's one of the occupied zones that has not been scanned again. Deep scanned. Then we'll scan directly around this area. In, in any case, there is an underground deposit right next to one of our existing domes. That would be the best solution. Is to find a bunch of materials that we you know we haven't touched yet in fact i think this still would help with doing scanning right would the uh would the sensor tower help with deep scanning sure why not let's pretend we'll put down a sensor tower here because we have four tiles to scan in this general area so you're going to go right here and help all these tiles out wonderful good god it is uh a little busy up here Resources our poor rover is like all by itself oh god did it just get nuked no, it almost got smashed by a meteor. I'm surprised all these are still alive right now. Please don't get hit. <laughs> that would make me a very sad human if we lose our rover. We're actually getting a lot of anomalies from this meteor storm, which is kind of cool. So it's like, it's both a bad thing and a good thing at the same time. Because you're able to get really cool anomalies. You're, you're able to get um, bonuses to your existing research and things like that. But And then also here, we're getting random metal... Uh, surface metal that's on the ground but it's one of those Anomaly things that i think analyzed. um you know it, it, it could be good it, it really depends on where it falls it could fall all the way across the middle of your area and then you're super screwed uh all right i think i'm gonna go back to letting the drones do some work for a bit and i'll come back once i have more news for you i think that my shuttle uh, my shuttle hubs or my shuttles have too much going on so i've started to go through all of my storage and trim up storage wherever possible so for example i saw that i randomly had a fuel depot that was sitting here making drones get over to it and stuff like that. So I'm trying to trim things up. Let's, you know, like if I've got two separate storages in one spot that could just be a universal, let's use the universal instead. That way our shuttles don't have to bring so many resources out and about. Um, I finally killed the, that little storage that we had in the central area that we've had for so long. Hey, you're ready to go home. Farewell, my friend. Uh, we still have more stuff to take home. So let's go ahead and send another rocket. An empty cargo rocket, please. Thank you. So, yeah, we're trying to make sure... I mean, here's fuel, for example. And you really do need fuel close to the refineries. They'll bring the fuel from the refinery here. Then our shuttles will pick it up. Um, I'm also trying to put things like, hey, here's a universal depot right next to the drone hub. That makes a bit more sense to me than having them travel as far as they have been. So, where else could I trim this area up? Hey, do you all have hygroscopic upgrades? I think you do. I want to make sure that every water vaporator is getting as much of a boost as possible. Okay, cool. Yeah, so over here, for example, we have one Universal Depot, that's it. And honestly, I can, uh, just to save my drones some trouble, too, I'm going to start putting things over right next to them. Um, so here we need metal, machine parts, electronics, machine part, and polymer. Or no, that's actually metal. So no polymers, huh? Research complete. Nope, we do need polymer. So metal, and then we'll do polymer, electronics, machine part, fuel, and we'll do about six. I'm going to start putting... Uh, these at six every time I put one down. Just so that way it's a little bit easier for the drones to bring a grouping of three if they need to. I think having... I think having the extract... You know what? I don't know. I mean, look at this drone. He's actually going to bring metal from here all the way to the machine part factory. So I guess they're taking care of this on their own instead of going here and dropping it off. So I guess I don't need a metal depot sitting right outside the factory. Okay, good to know. Hey, we're nice and full up on our fusion reactors. That's pretty exciting. And look at all, all the engineers that I've been able to get. Uh, we've had a lot of engineers graduate from the Martian University. 38 since I changed it around. So we're finally starting to get engineers into the engineer jobs. So polymer factory, electronics, and machine parts all are having more engineers get, um, get in that spot. So that's lovely. I think I might return this to automatic, though. And do we want to go ahead and put in a new shift here? It would fill up. I think I'm going to set it to automatic and uh, have all three slots open. We might lose some jobs here and there. 
We have 64 people. 64 people unemployed? Oh, that's right, because the dome to the south has nothing going on. Yeah, we are going to have to get this done as soon as possible, the mega dome. It's looking good, though. We only need a little bit more concrete. And, oh, wow, we actually only need a little bit more metal, and we're going to be good. Of course, the problem is we have a ton of stuff to build in all the other domes, too. So for a while, our big limiter is going to be concrete and metal. So that's going to be a bit of a pain in the butt. But hopefully, we should get those up soon. I haven't had any more good scans. So I am kind of waiting on the scan results. Did we ever get our concrete extractor up down here? It still needs metal. So again, we're, we're waiting on all of our resources to get delivered by the shuttle hub. And it's parent or it's children, child shuttles. You three are still extracting, thank God, or else I'd pre pretty much have nothing else to do. You need machine parts upgrades soon. Yeah, I mean, you're kind of keeping us alive, though, with all the money you're you're putting you're putting out for us. Hey, how are you doing on the... I forgot that we got the other Hawking Institute up. Oh, hey, let's do this. Let's open up all three shifts here. Holy crap, what? We have that many people not doing anything? I mean, I, I'm really short on scientists, but still, that's pretty amazing. Uh, what are you doing in this dome? You've got four unemployed, two homeless. That's pretty good for this dome, I think. And as new homes become available, people should be moving out and trying to find new places to work. I just have to keep up with the massive population growth that's going to start coming from all of our births, our Martian births. So that's what I'm going to try to do. Uh, I'll put down this mega dome, try to save up some materials for a bit. And then maybe over here, we'll put down a mega dome because it's within this vista. And it might just be more polymers, more, you know, more random stuff that's all standalone. Uh, we can start decentralizing a bit. Boy, have I not been paying attention to technology. I was just talking and complaining about how our shuttles are really, really busy. We have two shuttle-related technologies right now, uh, increasing the number of shuttles that the shuttle hub can house by six, and then also increasing the shuttle cargo capacity by three. Amazing technologies. So I'm going to queue these up, and I got Super Fungus queued up. I might even kill that. I do want the Meteor Defense System, and it's important to continue to go down the Meteor, or sorry, the Physics Tree. But... These bad boys are coming up next. Um, boy, what I would I would love to see that space elevator in our hands. I'm going to throw it on there, and if I don't have any other technology that I want to research right away, I might look into that a bit. Um, you know what? I forgot we've we've queued up rejuvenation like seven times, and I keep killing it. That needs to be a priority too. Uh, but we should. I mean, with the addition of that second Hawking Dome, the second Hawking Institute. We should be rocking out on science right now. 3,000 uh, 3, science per soul. Hey, you know what? Let's outsource some stuff too. Why not? We've got the money for it. Let's grab a crap ton more science and go nuts. We're sending some supplies back home. So, in fact, I actually need to send up another empty cargo rocket because we're going to be sending another supply run home soon. So, we're in pretty good shape. And honestly, with that cargo upgrade, that might fix my problem that I've been having with my goods. And you know what? Let's do this too. If I say you know what one more time, you can uh, have full permission to punch me. But uh, let's kill those other shuttle hubs that were in construction. That way I don't have to use those electronics. And we'll just wait for the upgrades to take place. It's pretty much like building a brand new shuttle hub. Getting six more shuttles per hub is going to be absolutely fantastic. I'm excited about that upgrade. We are slowly but surely getting everything built in our other two domes. I think people are going to start moving in here. Yeah, actually, actually this one's already full, uh, filled up with people. As soon as they're coming available, people are moving in. I will start filtering things out and, you know, in saying, oh, hey, only only so-and-so can live here versus someone else. Uh, but I do need to wait a little bit. Wow, we are... Why did we... Did we lose a bunch of... Oh, crap. Uh, uh oh, what happened here? Am I, am I completely out of polymer? Oh, I am out of polymer. Do I have polymers requested? I do. What, what is happening with polymers and stuff? Wait, are we out of polymers completely? No way. We have two sitting there. Some sitting out and about in random places. That's rather annoying. In shuttle hubs. Oh, God, it's all loose. Oh, no, all of our... Sh all, I think it's including the polymer count that's inside of the... Uh, inside of the dome that's to be constructed. Whoops. All right, we're going to have to send ourselves a bit of an emergency pack of polymer. Awkward. And we're probably cons consuming more than we're producing. Yeah. Just just barely. What I'll do is go... I'll... I'll um, oh, we can trade. Oh, we can't even trade because I don't have enough stuff to trade. I'm, I'm actually low on food, too. We'll have to wait till one of these shuttles gets home. And with that export, I'll go ahead and send up another shuttle with some polymers to replace it. We're in a bit of an awkward spot with food. I think a lot of my... 
crops are about to come to harvest. Let me take a look. You've got potatoes coming up. You're actually not really all that close. Uh, wheat will be next for you, followed by wheat for you. So all, a couple of low-yield crops coming up. Uh, they should go by quickly, though. You're growing. You just started, so we need to have you on soybeans for a bit. You are doing soybeans and then wheat. All these kind of stink, unfortunately. Potatoes. Are, why are potatoes not yielding that much? Maybe it's because it doesn't take into effect the 100% quality yet. I'm not entirely sure, but both of you are on full cycle. Uh, you still need to go one more until you're able to change things up a bit. Yeah, I think I'm actually a little bit in a bad spot with food. I have queued up super fungus. And I'm trying to reduce the amount of people, uh, botanists, working in our, uh, our different farms. Where did the botanists go? I could have sworn I had way more botanists than this. Maybe they're kind of shuffling around as needed. Um, we have some unemployment in this dome, do we not? Okay, I'll tell you what. Why don't we do this because we have a bit of a problem in terms of food and also for housing. Let's put down a living complex and then another farm here. With the goal of hopefully trying to get some more people working and making more food. Right, so that'll be okay, I hope. We shall see. That's, uh, what is it? How many jobs go into a farm if I don't have automation on? That's, uh, six people. So that should take care of the unemployment. Well, actually, it'll, it'll cause some more unemployment once we put down another living complex, but I'd rather be unemployed than have people not have anywhere to live. So I want to make sure we have people, you know, with a place to go. Otherwise, they're going to start getting really pissed off. I'm really struggling with how many people are getting, uh, or, or are, uh, getting born here. So here's the hoping I can kind of catch up a bit. Maybe I'll have to send people back home, kick them off Mars. I am struggling with concrete and metals. We just had a couple of harvests, though, so food just came back up again. Beyond the concrete that I have access to down here, which still has not been delivered. Man, do I have to do this manually? I, I am waiting on, basically I'm waiting on a shuttle to, to give me uh, metals down here. There is an extraction point here as well, another deposit over here. We would have to set up yet another drone hub in order to make that work too. Although to save myself money, I could just send a, I should just, I could just make uh, or send a drone hub prefab, which would hopefully, it wouldn't cost me as much. And then I could just set up the same thing that I did on the other area over here. And it's close enough that I could just run life support, like power over to the concrete extractor. But I'm really worried about my concrete levels. I mean, we have, we have to build so many buildings coming up. So many homes, uh, so many domes that we're going to really probably require more and more and more. So I think I'm going to do that. Let's put down a concrete extractor here first to kind of get a feel for where it's going to be at. Yeah, everything's not far, too far from the drone or drone commander. I got that part. Uh, drone hub would actually require three power. So we'll just need two turbines here. Okay, and then we'll also put down ahead of time, I'll put down some dumping sites and the like, and then I'll do a line for power. Oh, sorry. No, I'm sorry. I, I meant to say I was going to connect it into my existing power, didn't I? Yeah, we'll just do that instead. So kill you and you. Then we'll just run power from my new concrete extractor over to my dome. And here and here. Cool. So I'll wait for a prefab from Earth, and then I'll drop that down here, and then we'll put down a universal storage depot. And we're going to want to have metals, concrete, uh, no food or rare metals. We will need electronics for the drone hub, and what are concrete extractors uh, maintained with? Also machine parts. Okay, cool. So machine parts and electronics here. Otherwise, I think we're fine. Yeah? Yeah. Here's to hoping. So, I'll have that ready to go Sector as soon as we can scan. get a prefab in this general vicinity. I'm waiting for a couple of deliveries to head back to Earth. We are really low on fuel now as well. So, if I if we look at the fuel, we're barely making enough to cover the consumption of the drone. So, the refueling is actually kind of out of... I, I don't know. Is it... Um, refueling a rocket says 34. Does that is that outside of the consumption measurement? It might be. But that's actually going to go up more once I get that technology upgraded too. But, you know, it, it is what it is. I can keep putting more fuel refineries down, putting more vaporators down. We are kind of on the cusp right now of energy and, and life support requirements. But thankfully, we've got a lot of uh, stored up access. We've got a lot of stored uh, water. We've got a lot of stored oxygen. So as I hit these little bumps in the road, my storage is taking over and making sure that no one uh, dies a horrible, cold, and dehydrated death. This is kind of cool. We actually have a full grouping of ge or not geologists, engineers 
in our factories, which is awesome. So I finally hit the number of uh, engineers I want. I think I'd like more for the fusion reactors as well, but I'm pretty happy with having them on the machine parts, electronics, and things like that. Um, I could try to open up another shift, but by and large, I think we're okay on the advanced m m materials at the moment. Maybe what I'll do is I'll open up a third shift as needed once we have issues there. I did open up the third night shift on the metals extractor, which is going to hurt, but by and large, I think we need that now um, before we get too far under in terms of metal. So, uh, we'll wait for that. Now, do we have anything we could send and trade? God, we really don't. You know, maybe I could trade. Do we have anything up here? Ready to go machine parts, maybe. I could trade, I could possibly trade the advanced stuff for the simple stuff. I could reverse it. You know, we've been, we've been trying to send, um, get polymers and whatnot, so maybe we could send out polymers for concrete this time around. I think it was a good amount of concrete, too. So perhaps I'll set one of my trade hubs to do that. I don't think I'm going to do it here because the better spot would be on this end here. So once we will uh, once we get the concrete loaded in for you, we will send you on your way, change the trade hub configuration, and see if we can't maybe bring in some basic materials for advanced ones. How are we doing on consumption versus production for the advanced stuff? We are overproducing on polymers. Uh, we're ahead of the game on machine parts, and we are ahead of the game so far on electronics. That's going to change once this dome gets more stuff built. I'm going to need a lot more um, electronics to, to make the casino happy. The electronics store, the art store, I think is going to need polymers. So a lot more items are going to be required there. Gosh, you know what? I know I'm, I'm trying to take it easy on domes, and I think I want to plan this out for later on. But a basic dome here... There that's are going to have... Colonists. We need eight people... Uh, we've got eight people in at least the morning and afternoon shift of the metals extractor. So eight people, that's 16 people, and then the required services for that. And then maybe a farm of no another six people. So I think we can do a small dome, a basic dome here. And we can put down um, the metals extractor for these two spots. I think that's worth it, especially since we're, we're hitting some issues with metal. And it's also within range... Actually, is it within range of a... It is, in fact, in range of a drone hub. That could be kind of useful. It's not going to work here, which kind of stinks, which means I will have to put down another drone hub. But still, it could help us build this up. 80 concrete, 20 metal, 10 polymer. Yeah, I think I'm going to do this. We're going to put down a universal depot here. And we'll say we want everything here at, at, a, at a quantity of 10. Stand. And I'm going to let this get built up over time on a low priority. It's going to take a while, and, and really, I won't, I won't focus on this until the Mega Dome is done, because I want to get more concrete shoveled into all of these required buildings. So we're, you know, we're struggling on a lot of these. They are getting a little bit of concrete here and there, but not quite as much as I was hoping for. So beyond that, um, I'm going to go ahead and get that drone hub sent over here in the next shuttle from uh, Earth, and maybe I'll just get another batch of, con I don't know, concrete and metal is probably going to take up a lot of space on our rocket, wouldn't it? One would think so. Let's take a look. It would probably be cheap, though. 30 million compared to 140 million. So it's cheap. At least metal and concrete is, is actually relatively cheap. You can get two, two drone hubs would cost me 300 million. So money's not really a worry right now for me. I'd rather have two prefab drone hubs because they can just get plopped down and built. You don't have to wait for parts to get delivered. And that wouldn't affect our electronics much other than increasing the maintenance. So let's do this. Let's get a little bit of concrete, a little bit of metal, and two prefabs. And then you can take more rare metals home. Uh, yeah, it sounds good. Oh, actually, are you are we done with rare metals? No, eh, we're not too bad. We are out of fuel, which is uh, kind of new for us. So perhaps I should focus on, or not focus on, just put down another fuel refinery. I will do that. We have the water for it. And it, it uh, we can put down another um, uh, another water uh, extractor here, moisture vaporator. Piping to you, and electronics to you, I think, as well. Or power to you, rather. Good enough. Alright, so we'll do a little bit more fuel. That should hopefully help us out with the fuel production. You've been, you've been malfunctioned. Uh, you've got a lot of drones that aren't doing anything. Why don't we bring some off here? We'll say five. Five off of you. And we'll add more onto you, because you always have... Oh, you actually, both of you guys are both uh, full up. You have a lot going on. Any of our drones need more? 
Mega Alpha. Yeah, these are the two big ones. The Northeast Concrete Hub. Okay, we'll give them five more. Cool. Uh, that's the one up here I think is a little bit overwhelmed. They have not been able to make our, uh, our moisture vaporators for quite a while because we've been waiting on a polymer delivery. Again, I don't know. We have 22 polymer. Is it stuck here? No, there's only one polymer here. It's probably just spread around the entire map is, is the bigger issue. You know, we haven't had a lot of Earth sick scientists or, or colonists in a long time. That makes me kind of happy. That makes me think we're doing something relatively right. What do we have here for our happiness level? Uh, missing service building, gaming, dining, and luxury. No, we're not missing dining. We have... Oh, are we missing a diner? Oh my god, are we seriously missing a diner this whole time and people have not rioted? I'm impressed. I think I'm going to have to kill the, the, the play dome. Shopping, social, relaxation, exercise. Those are full. Yeah, we're going to have to kill this playground and put down a diner. I didn't realize that I was missing one over here. I don't want people to get grumpy, uh, grumpy at me here. Uh, so you're growing seed crops as well. So you're in a good spot on these farms. I'll wait for this to get demolished and I'll replace it. You are still at 50%, so you have to... This was the. These were the new farms that I just put down to, to make people busy. Cool. Uh, so that's going to help them out a little bit with jobs. I wonder how this this site is doing i can't quite get to it i i put down oh, there it was right there uh oh shoot we're, <laughs> we're we're running out of underground rare metals but but at the same time when those are done this is going to be just about finished we're we're just shy on metals right now so once that's done this mega dome should come up we'll have more extraction ready to go for this one as well uh or from this dome as well and then we should be in a much better place awesome uh we also have somewhere i thought there was yeah fueled extractors Buildings production increased by 30% as long as the building is supplied with fuel. That is going to hit us right in the fuel production, but I think we can manage by putting down more fuel refineries. There also might be technology to improve what the, what would you call that, what the uh, fuel refineries are making. I've not really checked that out. I've got some simple stuff here I probably should look at. Drone hubs are constructed with two additional drones. Oh, yeah, number of drones is increased to 80. I think drone hubs update would be pretty nice. It's also really cheap. But I'm trying to get some more of the stuff in the tree finished up too. Drone battery capacity means they recharge less. RC Commander is fine. Oh, there is an automated mode for RC Explorer and RC Transport. Oh, I guess that's, that's where the mod conflict might have been at. Can construct all the RC vehicles. Man, this, I remember seeing this and we talked about this, the uh, building construction cost in metals and concrete reduced by 20. And then also there's another one here that reduces the breakthrough. One of the breakthroughs re it reduces the amount of concrete cost by 80%. This might have to come up sooner than later, especially as we start making more and more mega domes. That's going to have to be reduced. That would help us out immensely, as well as the out dome uh, maintenance as well. You know, anything that reduces the cost of some, you know, X being Y, that would help us out. All right, um, I think I'm going to wrap things up here. Thanks so much for joining me for this episode, my friends. It's uh, a little slower, and I might have a little bit of time between this episode and the next one, so that way we can wait for the Mega Dome to get done. I I'm really just waiting on metals and concrete, and I don't want you to have to sit there and wait with me. So we'll just um, skip just a bit forward so that you're not completely bored out of your mind. Hey, you need to have the right layout. There we go. Beautiful. Much, much better. We're starting to get people in the right spots now, which is glorious. The Mega Dome will go up. We will eventually get concrete back in the world again. Oh, hey. Uh, oh, I don't have it yet. My drone hub. I forgot about my drone hub. That will be here soon. And I will, before I forget, put down my service diner. Uh, my little tiny baby diner here that I completely forgot about. Sorry about that, guys. And really, we'll probably remove these once I have, once I filter out my kids. Hey, real quick, before we go, how many little chitlins do we have? Can I just see... I can't... Can I see all... Okay, entire colony. Here we go. Wow, we have a lot of kids. We have a lot of kids, but... um, What about seniors? How many seniors do we have? Comparatively, we have a lot of seniors, too. That's pretty rough. So, I, I wish I could see a graph. Maybe is there a graph about... Uh, graphs here. I'd love to see the age of people. And I don't think... Unemployed and homeless... That's kind of a, a little bit rough. We are having a pretty steady growth period here. So we are getting more people in than, than we, we have a good maintenance level. We're not losing more people um, than we're replacements. So our replacement rate is relatively solid. 
So I have to keep an eye on that to make sure we don't lose too many people. But we, I'd love to have a retirement community. We could have a full dome over here, for example, where they don't work. It's just housing and, you know, farms. Like, maybe we have a farm for people who, uh, to raise, you know, we're going to have a couple services. So we'll have, like, one apartment building for people that work at the services. But um, all the other buildings in there will just be for, for seniors to relax and stuff like that. So maybe we'll build a retirement community away from the hubbub. And uh, that would help us kind of open up the available working slots and all of our important domes for those that you know that could actually help out so we might have seniors in here we might have a bunch of seniors in all of my different apartments are you a senior too you look like you've got yeah you're a senior so you're not helping us out much so yeah a retirement community i think would be a pretty decent idea down the road again a lot of stuff requ requiring materials that we just don't have access to uh, access to yet scanning wise do we ever finish we never get did get more metals you're an average deposit. Yeah, I think I will probably focus on maybe getting this dome up in the next episode or two after our mega dome starts to get built. All right, friends, thanks so much. As always, I'll catch you again uh, next episode. Until then, take care.